Some researchers think that you could expand your consciousness by quantum entangling your brain and plugging it into a quantum computer. This is based on the idea that consciousness could come from quantum events. Yes, it is a very weird idea, and we'll talk about it. The idea that consciousness comes from quantum stuff was pushed by Roger Penrose, a Nobel laureate cosmologist. Worthy to note that he was not a neurologist. Many file this under the interesting phenomenon where Nobel laureates come up with some pretty wacky ideas. He would not be the first. It's thought that this happens because when you're a Nobel Prize winning scientist, you are in fact a celebrity of sorts, and you can do no wrong, at least for a while. Now there is lots of quantum stuff that's involved in our biology. Birds, for example, may actually use quantum properties in order to navigate. It may be involved in photosynthesis, and there is some thought that our ability to smell stuff is involved with quantum tunneling, meaning molecules crossing an energy barrier that they normally shouldn't be able to. Either way, these things have not been proven definitively, and you should know that you are made up of particles. So there will always be quantum stuff involved on the micro scale. Quantum is a property of the universe, one that we do not fully understand. Oh, and did you know that some people apparently quantumly entangled a tardigrade? At least they said they did. They froze a tardigrade to near zero and then placed it between two superconducting qubits. Other physicists say that what they actually saw was a classical interaction. Also, the tardigrade did not survive, and that is important for the idea that we could potentially expand our consciousness. Because some researchers did suggest that we could incorporate our brains into supercomputers, quantum computers. If it is indeed true that our brains have quantum stuff going on and that is involved in producing consciousness, that also means that we could potentially make a consciousness that would be indistinguishable from our own using quantum computers. There are some problems with that. First off, our brains are squishy goo, and they operate in a wet environment at about 98 degrees. Quantum computers run at near zero. And also, how would we interface our brains with quantum computers? I mean, I do know who we're going to talk to if we want to try to incorporate brains into computers. Yes, our friends of brain organoids, my personal little obsession. So what really is the problem with all this? Well, there's no evidence for any of it. There is not a sliver of evidence that consciousness is actually derived from quantum events in our brains. Yes, there is quantum stuff, and it may actually help our brains function the way that they do. Microtubules involve quantum stuff. When your DNA is made, quantum stuff is occurring, but that's kind of just the property of what it looks like to be very, very small. We live in the macro world. So yeah, maybe. Maybe consciousness is derived from quantum events. I couldn't tell you because literally nobody could. I'm not gonna dismiss the idea wholesale, but we don't like to believe things that we have no evidence for. You see a phenomenon, you try to explain it, and then you test it. So go out and test it and get back to me because right now it is just wild conjecture. And yes, it is fun to think about wild things, but publishing on them is uh, might get you labeled as having the Nobel laureate condition.